Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, here we are, another day above ground. Okay, this video is when you start eating your stockpile, it goes down fast. So what I did is I gave you guys a shot of my stockpile. And if you have been following me, you will remember that it was twice as much. So what I will do is I will keep uh, eating that until it's um, gone. So I'm eating my instant potatoes down. And uh, you will be surprised. I actually prefer potatoes over rice. But I think maybe rice is cheaper. Uh, one bag this size was $14.99. I don't think, is this five pounds? Five pounds. I don't think five pounds of rice is anywhere near that much. But I just prefer uh, potatoes to rice. So uh, I'm going to make my potatoes in the microwave. One cup. Uh, water. I have Walmart. These come out to about a dollar twenty-five now. Um, the big, the big packages. Uh, once you, I don't like to keep my food outside of the refrigerator once uh, they're open. So I'm putting a quarter cup of milk in my uh, water. I need a little bit of salt. I, I like this coarse sea salt. And I have some uh, chopped chives. All of this is coming out of the stockpile. So I think what people do is they underestimate the amount of uh, food they need. So if you buy cans, that is one of the easiest ways to figure out how much uh, food you've got there. We're going to go into that in a minute. I don't want to wreck my rings. Okay, so we'll put a little handful of chives. And I need a tablespoon of butter or margarine. Whatever you have will be fine. And hopefully we have some. Oh, perfect. I have a little piece of butter left to use up. So, um, I'm eating out of the stockpile. All right. Let's go for about two minutes. Okay, a stockpile is a large accumulated stock of goods or materials, especially one held in reserve for what? A time of shortage or other emergency. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. So uh, why do you think I had the squirrels in my backyard? Uh, one, uh, my neighbor couldn't figure out how what happened to all of her cherry tomatoes, but the uh, poor squirrels in my backyard were eating green tomatoes. So I thought, wow, it seems pretty uh, heartless to poison a beast desperate enough to eat raw or green tomatoes. Okay, I bought uh, two uh, bell peppers and I like to just eat them raw. Uh, I like to make salads in them. So uh, these are about, these were like 70 something cents each, but the good thing, the good news about these is you also get seeds. So I will save the seeds. I have been saving green pepper seeds it's still rather cold here, so I don't really want to start planting, uh, planting the seeds yet. Maybe inside in a few days. I already washed my bell pepper. All right, and these are some uh, beets that I just took a... Uh, I'm shopping around daily for uh, pickled food. And uh, what's so good about it is that you're never, and it's really easy to pickle your own food. 
Um, but um, if you have pickled food, you're not going to be running. Uh, beets are good raw or, you know, cold. You're not going to run out of, so I'm just going to put like a little portion of uh, beets. One more, one or two more. Yeah. So I have plenty of beets in my, this is going to be a little salad. This stuff is a mess. Get it out of the way. And then I pickle these vegetables. They're cucumbers, uh, celery, and onions. And I think that will be good in this. Basically, remember in the old days? Oh, and I have some jalapenos in there. Yummy. This will be good. All right. So here's what we have so far. Uh, when you're eating the stockpile down... The thing to remember is whatever you have in the house, that is what we're eating tonight, you guys, for the last four days of the month. Where's my salad dressing? Oh, no. Well, okay, uh, I'm not going to show you because it's taking too long for me to find it, but I'm going to have some salad dressing on this and some salt and pepper. All right, so let's see what happened here. You know, this is actually um, cheaper, a lot cheaper than a, um, um, a frozen dinner. The frozen dinners are um, ex expensive, okay? And then you need a two-thirds cup of... of potatoes give or take I'm gonna go a little late uh, light because I don't like to uh, put potatoes back in the bag after uh, after I've taken them out well I think this needs to be a little hotter it should pretty much be boiling okay so we're we're stockpiling for a sh food shortage or some kind of an emergency Okay, so you noticed on, if you if you saw my um, photo from, I think it was sometime before Christmas, approximately half the food is gone. And, I, you know, I, you're probably like me thinking you're, you're not eating that much. Yes, you are. So what I'm going to do with that stockpile in there is I'm just going to eat it until it's gone. And so you might be thinking, well, if you do that... You're not going to have any food yet left. Yes, I am. I have food in two freezers, and I want to eat them down. And that is where I got this. Last month, this is enough for two meals. Last month, I made um, a meatloaf at some point. And uh, that, I sliced it. You know, I started slicing my meat like in uh, thinner slices and freezing it for later and your food goes further so i have these in the stockpile also i have packages so i just put gravy on the potato on the meat loaf that was in the freezer i can show it to you i think yeah here it is and this was half a batch i have enough in there for two more meals and then, you know, I have the big bag of, um, of hot dogs in there, too. So, that is the whole idea. Smart and final. All right, let's see if this is ready to go. I'm trying to cut down on cooking as much as I can. First of all, it saves on um, on dishes. You know, who likes to do them that much? I, I think that's why a lot of people go towards uh, frozen food. I mean, why? If, if, you know, you can get by. That's why a lot of people want to eat out. Because they don't want to mess around with the dishes and cooking and pots and pans. Uh, I'm only continuing. I was going to make bread today, but I thought, no, I don't want to because I'm cleaning the house room by room by room. 
until it's all clean and then you know all right looks good now because i want to put my gravy on these potatoes all right so i like my potatoes kind of soupy but you know you can make them thicker if you want so okay let's put the tomatoes in the middle And then I want to put my meatloaf on the one side and my uh, salad on the other. Uh oh, I need a I need a uh, a spatula. And then I'm probably going to eat my meatloaf with some um, ketchup. Uh, I'm going to be making more meatballs, uh, like those uh, salmon balls. I actually like, I don't really care for uh, salmon patties, but I do like salmon balls for some reason. They just taste good. Uh, my friend and I did make some good meatballs. Uh, I made a video, it was called Welcome to Our Party. And uh, we, we made those out on the grill. Those are pretty good. So then I'll, I want to put my rest of my gravy. So basically, this is enough food for two meals. Uh, this is a cheap, a cheap meal, too. All right. So now we can get by. We're not going to starve. Uh, you know, when you're eating the meals out of the stockpile, you're not spending money. All right, so here we have it, and I will have some salad dressing. I noticed my uh, food was cut cut off. All right, and that is better than, um, I have tea, which I suspected led to my insomnia, so I added caffeine-free Coke from Walmart. This stuff used to be 99 cents, and now I think it was $1.50, I'll tell you in a minute. So, okay, I'm going to eat all that food down, and I'm going through the food room by room, and I'm evaluating the food to see how much food do I really have. So, since I ate half of that food in um, two months, that tells me that was about um, enough for four months. Okay, now... In the freezers, my freezers never seem to go down because I save all the leftovers, like the uh, meatloaf in there, anything, bread, cookies, anything, and I'm going to eat them. Okay, so now I want to talk to you real quick about the stockpile. Okay, think about canned food. That is your best. And think about one of these per day. Beef stew, and you can get them at Dollar Tree. Chili, pork and beans, chicken a la king. I seem to like chicken a la king. I only had two. Tamales, spaghetti, you know, like SpaghettiOs, and soup, large cans. Okay, so for a month, you need one each because that's seven different kinds. So when you're buying um, one, you need four for a month, and you need 48 for a year, so that's about two, two cases. Fruit and vegetables, two cans per week. So you need um, eight cans and you need four cases per fruit for a year. Milk, two cups um, per day. If you buy the 30 cup bags, you need two of those a month. And that is expensive. Rice and potatoes, big bags. Peanut butter, one jar per week, so you need 52 um, jars. And you can make a jam out of your fruit or two cups of fresh nuts. Yesterday I made this, okay. And then for dessert, I have these that I bought marked down. These are Jellos. Okay. Um, and spaghetti sauce, spaghetti two times a month, and those are usually two meals and pasta two for the month. Okay. And then on the large, we'll start with the small cans: sardines, 
tuna, spam, and salmon, the packages, and the large cans, corned beef, ham, and roast beef. So whatever appeals to you, we're, we're really stockpiling for eating it, you know, for saving money, but also for an emergency. So I wanted to put my food storage in a box so I could show you this is, does not constitute uh, food storage like going to Costco, but it does add up little by little. So yesterday I bought raisins because I make raisin potato bread or cookies. And I bought uh, two of these banana cream puddings, but those require milk. But I um, knew I had the jellos, but I also put these containers in here to put my puddings in if I don't make a pie. I finally broke down and bought two of these little pitchers and some more measuring spoons because it was just so annoying. I couldn't, uh, part of my problem is I have too much stuff. So I'm trying to fix that. Okay, so here's what I bought today. I bought uh, this marked down at Walmart because you know, I mentioned I am going to be making the um, salmon balls. Did I write down the price of this? Wow. Okay, I'll just try to tell you. These are my favorite Walmart tomato sauces. And if I had made the uh, meatloaf and put it in the bell peppers, I would have put this kind of, uh, those are 58 cents. Uh, these are 86 cents. These were 50 cents. So that... So figure, okay, if you buy two, it would be a dollar, but now it's a dollar seventy something. So everything is inflated. And uh, did I show you I bought one of these because that sandwich I got from 7-Eleven. And so what I did was I froze that sandwich, half of it, to save, to stockpile for an emergency or time of need. But I will be stockpiling some good sandwiches like that in my freezer. But I bought the Spam because it was ham with cheese and it was French toast bread. And I thought, I think I can find that French toast bread. And I bought these um, dried tomatoes because I made scones, really delicious scones with these dried tomatoes and cheese. Or I could make a jalapeno and cheese bread. That'd be good too. All right, now I think I've come on to something with the three days of darkness. This would be real, real bad. Okay, um, instead of like just the whole world uh, dark, it could be some kind of uh, darkness where you didn't see out of your eyes. You just saw dark. You were, that, they say, and that makes sense don't open the door, uh, don't go outside because it's not just dark, you are not seen. That's a real bad possibility. So they say get beeswax wax candles, the believers are going to be able to see a little bit. And if you have medallions, like uh, religious medallions, so I thought, oh, okay, so I'll show you my medallions. Uh, sometimes I sell them to uh, collectors of my likings, but not until after the three days of darkness. This is from Medjugorje. Many miracles have happened there. Uh, this is an unusual medallion because it's mother, son, and uh, Joseph. I think these were little communion medallions. Not sure. They say put these all around the house. Another thing, when these uh, three days of darkness come, some evil spirits could come in the darkness. Or uh, darkness is also described as people who love the evil way. So that's to be considered. It could be a grid down. It could be some kind of eclipse. It could last longer than three days. That's why we want to store stockpile food. It's good to work up to a year supply, then two years, and then five years, and learn how to grow food.
that's going to be more valuable than anything and then also how to make sure you have heat i have a fireplace i could burn a fire in there but i think um i think a buddy heater a propane heater is the way to go and also i wanted to mention jan from new york city months ago she said why not save thirty dollars a month one dollar a day and so uh, i started doing that sometimes i take a dollar out and i save it that way and sometimes i just save thirty dollars so you get to these last four days of the month and you think to yourself well i don't just don't have enough food um out of the stockpile if you save your it doesn't have to be a whole thirty dollars it could be twenty dollars it could be five dollars a week um and you could do it that way but one of the best ways to get extra money is when you don't have to buy any any food or anything um also i wanted to mention one thing today i was at the um gym and i said to uh one of the ladies where's your friend and she said oh she hurt her knee and I go, oh no, or she hurt her leg. And I go, oh no. And um, so she was telling me that her friend used to weigh 300 pounds. And I go, wow, are you kidding? That's really encouraging. So if you're the type of person who has uh, put on weight and can't seem to take it off, that was me. I was walking like crazy. But um, it wasn't moving me into a calorie deficit so um also if you have like a slower metabolism it's going to metabolize slow but what i think happens is you start going to the gym and getting in the healthy way i have another friend and he goes i just like it all the people are so nice so they have these uh low cost gyms and so what i did is i just uh, like last week i had really bad insomnia i don't even know how i could stand up but I had really bad insomnia, but I still went and I did a little tiny bit of exercise because a little bit, I, I watch these ladies on my Instagram, my, my gosh, they're like lifting a lot of weight, but just walking a little bit each day on the treadmill or doing, they have a little circuit that's a full bodied uh, workout every single day and somehow the weight kind of takes care of itself just like the the stockpile you start accumulating a little extra food you go oh that's a good deal i'll buy a big bag i'll make some bread and i'll make sure i have butter and i can make jam and you get into the way and all of a sudden you get some pickled food you're never going to run it you're going to have a sandwich you stockpile some chips from Dollar Tree and you know okay I will see you tomorrow please like comment and subscribe and God bless you all